Britain is heading to the polls once again. There's a general election approaching, so I'm getting out of the office and on the road to find out what's happening at this volatile political time. Over the next few weeks, I'll be travelling across the UK in this trusty old Morris Minor for the FT's 2017 election road trip. Our first stop is Hampstead and Kilburn, which is a key marginal seat in North London. This is one the Conservatives almost took at the last two general elections, and given their 20-point lead in the opinion polls, they're pretty hopeful of taking it this time. It's currently held by Labour's Tulip Sadiq, who won it by just over 1,100 votes two years ago. Given her party's current poor rankings in the opinion polls, it's going to be a struggle for her to hold on. Our chat was interrupted by a violent hailstorm, a reminder of Labour's gloomy position. I guess people have to vote based on my record. I've always put the constituency first ahead of the party. So your basic strategy is to ignore Jeremy Corbyn and pretend he doesn't exist? Uh, no, you can't ignore Jeremy Corbyn. He is the leader of the Labour Party. But, the end, the, but you're the end not mentioning of the day, him on the doorstep. Well, at the end of the day, if people want to talk about Jeremy, I'll bring it up. But if you go around canvassing all morning like I have done, what people bring up, actually, is the cuts to the local schools. They bring up the cuts to National Health Service. They bring up the fact that they are worried about high-speed rail too. They're worried about Brexit Britain. That's what people are bringing up on the doorstep, and that's what I'll be fighting this election on. <laughs> But I think this is an area where Brexit will come into play. Three quarters of Hampstead and Kilburn voted to remain in the EU. And the Conservatives' pitch is, well, pretty Brexity. It's also somewhere where David Cameron was far more attuned to than Theresa May. Convincing voters to believe in their Brexit pitch is the challenge for the Tories. I'm a natural Labour voter, but they're so ineffectual at the moment. I am leaning towards le uh, the, uh, the Lib Dems. Did you vote Remain in the EU referendum? Absolutely. I'll be voting Labour but for my local MP um, and understanding that regrettably it endorses Jeremy Corbyn. And tell me how you're planning to vote in this general Conservative. election. Conservative. And why? Because I couldn't possibly vote for um, Jeremy. I couldn't vote for him. Um, and how did you vote in the EU referendum? I have voted Labour in the past. Yes. How do you vote in the EU referendum? Uh, I've, I ended up voting um, at one stage leave. Uh, right. Remain, remain. Claire Louise Leyland, a local councillor, is the Conservative challenger. She supported Remain in last year's EU referendum and wants to fight this seat on leadership and local issues. Theresa versus Jeremy, not Remain versus Leave, which she thinks is already settled. 2010, this was a three-way marginal with about 800 votes between the three yes. parties. So any one of them could come along, pull away some of your Remain votes and you might not make it. But in 2015, we fought Labour head-on. And, and it didn't win. But the Lib Dems didn't make any ground then. And right now we have what it takes to take on Labour. The Liberal Democrats are also hopeful to make gains in Hampstead and Kilburn. Like many seats across the UK, their strategy is to seize on the anxiety over Brexit. A lot of people went into the vote last year believing that we were going to remain in the single market. It was in the Conservative manifesto. And I think that they deserve an opportunity to make a decision about what they want based on the facts rather than what they were told during the course of the election last year. So your badge says Liberal Democrat here. What you're really saying is you don't respect the will of the referendum. So you're not really a Democrat. I think that's entirely not what I'm saying, actually. I think I'm saying that we are so democratic that we want to take this back to the country. Hampstead and Kilburn in a way symbolises the Conservative Party's struggle in this election campaign. It's a metropolitan Liberal seat that's always been just outside of its grasp. If they win it this time, it shows they really can win all across the country. But if the Remain vote rises up and something unexpected happens, then it shows the country really is still divided by Brexit. So that's one seat down. Join us again for our next instalment of my election road trip.